Hey, welcome to this tutorial part two on how to create your own character in Survival Engine. So today uh, I'm going to show you a few more tricks on how to do that. And especially if you're thinking of starting from a 3D model that has absolutely no rig and no animation, I'm going to show you a very easy way to generate your own animation and your own rig without having to do everything manually yourself. Okay, so first we're going to do like the last time, we're just going to create the prefab from the original one. Going to duplicate that one. Copy the mesh and then open the prefab. Going to center the model like we did last time. Remove the old one and then bring it in the scene okay so the difference from the last tutorial is that this character does not have a rig so I'm going to show you how to generate one and also create animations uh, using a tool called Mixamo that you can access for free online so we're going to go on the Mixamo website here and then I'm going to upload my character So this is the character that does not have the rig. I will just upload it here. We're on uh, mixamo.com. And then the, that window will appear. It's called the auto rigger. So this uh, allows you to create your own rig very easily. It only works for humanoids. So don't try it for like animals or other kinds of 3D models. But if you have a regular character, it will be possible to do that very easily. So you need to go and place all the parts like this, the knees. Then I'm going to click next. It's going to generate the rig for you. Okay, so the thing with Mixamo is that the reason why I did not include any Mixamo animation in my assets is that the license does not allow the animation and rig to be uploaded to the Unity Asset Store. So for Mixamo, you can't use it for the Asset Store, but you can use it for a regular game. So if your project is a game, it's totally fine to use Mixamo to create your own animations. So now that we have the rig character, we can just download it. Download. Going to copy it in the project. We rename it first. All right, so now we will need to replace the model that we're using here for the new one. can just copy the transform, delete that one. Okay, so that one has a bit of different angle. We can adjust that. So a different size. There you go. Okay, so this character now has the Mixamo rig. We're going to add animation. If I try to use the animation that I already have here, since they are on a different rig, because the Mixamo license does not allow me to use Mixamo animation on the Unity Asset Store, then this one will not work. So I really need to go um, and generate all the animations one by one on the Mixamo website. So we're going to do that right now. We'll try to find an idle animation. Maybe we'll use this one. Uh, you have some uh, parameter here that you can adjust, but for now we're just going to leave it to default. This seems good. Download. Okay, let's find a run animation. Uh, let's just take uh, this one for now. Um, usually I, I don't really like the animation that have root motion like that, so I click on in place. Uh, I find that it's a bit easier to work with personally. So 
So we're going to go with just with those two animation first. Um, we'll copy it here. Let's go back. Okay. Now what we will want to do is go um, on the old character and then select the animation controller and we will duplicate that so we can have a reference um, for linking all the animation. Then we're going to open the new character and drag the animation controller on it. Then the next step you will want to do is to rename the animation here because by default they will be called mixamo.com so you probably want to give them a name. Make sure you are on the animation tab here then click on the name, press enter and then click apply at the bottom. For things like idle and run you will also want to have loop time otherwise the animation will only play once and then stop so you want to loop it then run, we do the same thing alright, so now we will go into the new character controller, animation controller so these are all the animation that we're already using with the old character but we're just going to replace the idle and run for now um, but first I'll show you what happened if we try to run the game so as you can see the animation are not working right now because they are on a different rig. So right now I set it to the old animation that are included in survival engine but not the one that we just downloaded. So we're going to change that for the one that we've just downloaded. I will uh, select here idle, open it, the animation is here. So you can click on idle and then drag and drop that one. Same thing for run. Then what I like to do is just to open the animation window here to test to make sure that the animation are working. So this seems good because all the bones here um, are found by the animation. If I click on another one, you will see um, the rig is not the same. So when you see a lot of yellow names like that, that means that you have an incompatible rig. So we're going to test the idle one. It's working. And then the run animation also working so that should be working in the game too there you go now we have a fully animated character all you need to do now is uh, exactly the same thing for all the other animation and you will have an animated character okay so once this is done the the last thing that will not be working right away are all the equipments that uh, I've explained how to do in the last video but I'm going to show you again just because I've changed a few things in the last version. So in 1.05, uh, I've changed how the feet attachment works so they work the same way than the end attachment. So first I'm just going to um, put some equipment into the scene so we can test them. Okay. And then I'm going to use the all character as a reference to copy all the attachment into the rig. So what you need to do is open the rig like that and find all the attachment. So there should be one for the head, one for each arm, I mean for each hand, and then uh, one for each foot, and finally one for the body. So uh, you can see the script here, equipped attach. I will copy that one. Actually, no, don't copy the script. You should copy the game object. This is a game object I've added myself. So it's not originally part of the rig. So if you just copy this, and then um, you need to find where is the head into the Mixamo rig. So it's probably under spine. Go under that. Neck, head. Okay, that seems good. And then... Um, I will copy the transform so it's relatively the same position because right now you can see it's here instead of being here. Okay, this one seems a bit low so I'm going to make it a bit higher. Then we're going to do the same thing for all the other body parts. And
Okay. I think this this one is good here. Copy the transform, paste it. Okay, uh, when you're checking this, usually you want to make sure that you're in local mode. So that will show you um, where uh, the rotation of the current game object. And usually the blue arrow is where the weapon will be pointing at. So I'll position this more inside the end like that. Then the left end. Here. This seems good too. Maybe a bit more here. Then let's do the body. This one is just on the spine. This one has more bone here. So we'll just try one. If it doesn't work, we can try the other. Okay. Maybe a bit lower. These are all things that we can adjust later after we test. And then we come back to the feet. Put here. And then the other one. right under here okay okay so as you can see in this version the feet are much more simple to set up they work exactly like the hand so you need to have the side set to right for the right foot and then the same thing for the left one also you want to make sure that the blue arrow is pointing outward and the um, green one usually is pointing toward the leg but I think maybe this rig is a bit different so we'll try it um, this side otherwise we'll have to flip the green arrow so it's pointing toward the leg let's try it okay let's try that at oh the, we don't have the tech animation that's why it's a bit weird when he's taking things equip this is good okay let's try this this one is great too the armor I'll remove the app because I don't see anything and then the boots yeah the boots are wrong that's what I was thinking because the Mixamo rig has a bit of different uh, orientation so all we're going to do to fix that I'll show you how to fix that okay so as I was saying usually you want the green line when you are in local and pivot mode you want the green line to point toward the the leg and then the blue line to point outward outward towards the toes so I'm going to rotate everything yes like that move it a bit like that rotate it more okay that should be much better and then we're do going to do the same thing on the other side oops not like that okay the green line seems good I also need to rotate this and this
okay this also seems much better than before um, obviously there will be a few adjustments to do after you test it but this should be much closer from the result that we want let's try again okay this seems much better now um, I think there's probably a few adjustments that we can make so that the two uh, align correctly and maybe the boots need to be a bit higher and bigger too but uh, this can be done uh, very easily just by playing with the position of the attachment and one last thing that you can change here uh, if you want you can increase the scale a bit so that will increase the scale of the equipment all right this is it for today's tutorial i hope that this was very helpful for you and now you should be able to create your own rig and your own animation by using Mixamo. So that will simplify the process, especially if you're buying like a 3D model from another asset online that does not have animation or does not have a rig. Um, I think this is a really simple way to do it. Cheers.